with the Motor Trend Car of the Year uh, is uh, about to be unveiled. Aaron, good morning to you. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. Welcome back. Uh, good to have you again. I know uh, Motor Trend always does. You do your SUV, your your truck of the year, and the, the car of the year, and and such. So what do you have for us this year? Well, we're ready to reveal our 2024 Motor Trend Car of the Year. It's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. It's the Toyota Prius. That's our new car of the year. You know, and uh, like I said, we know this is going to be a surprising choice because the Prius is kind of known for fuel economy at the expense of everything else. But this new version is really a new take on the Prius. Toyota says it's the Prius for people who would never consider one. And, and, and that's what we kind of found to be true. It's, it's still a remarkably fuel-efficient car, but now it's beautifully styled. And the really surprising thing is it's actually good to drive. It's actually engaging and rewarding. And i got to tell you, that is something that the Motor Trend staff – that we just did not expect from a Toyota Prius. Well, you you caught me by surprise on this one, too. I mean, I even played Steppenwolf, Get Your Motor Running, as the preview for this year. I expected you are going to tell me the Dodge Challenger or the Ford Mustang or something to that effect. So uh, they changed the Prius's styling? Yeah, they changed everything about it. I mean, they really kind of, for the first time since, I think since 2004, they were allowed to really rethink the car. You know, it still has, there's a very specific shape. that It's, it's shaped for maximum aerodynamics. But now they've added a lot of a lot of exciting cues. They've got this very steeply raked windshield. I mean, the car almost looks more like a a sports coupe than a than a than a hybrid. You know, and just as just as kind of shocking as the the 2004 Prius was 20 years ago. Same thing for the for the new Prius. It's you know when I first saw the car at the auto show, I think it was at the New York Auto Show. I first laid eyes on it, and even I was like, oh my goodness, that's a Prius. It's really exciting looking, and it's actually engaging to drive. Steppenwolf is appropriate because they upped the power. It's a lot more powerful. It's a lot quicker than previous Priuses, and it's got a great new platform. Toyota calls it TNGA, which is the Toyota New Generation Architecture. It steers nicely. It handles nicely. It rides comfortably. Again, you drive the thing, and you just go, well, how can this be a Prius? How is this even possible? You know, that you can actually enjoy driving a Prius. I'm just seeing a picture of it now. Our producer, Colin's about to put it up on uh, our TV cameras here. In just a moment, and I, I do like the restyling that they've done on it. it. It was a car I never would have purchased before because of the way it looked. <laughs> but, yeah, well, but this is different. You. you know, it was always kind of a nebbish, and you know, it was you know, for some people, it was a, a real way to reduce their their carbon footprint. For others, other people saw it as kind of virtue signaling. I mean, you know, it's always been a had a specific look, but now they've really kind of changed direction on the Prius. Yeah. Is there still ample room on the back bumper for the coexist? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the coexist. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it will work. I think those come standard if you buy one in Vermont. <laughs> you know, and that's the cool thing is because even though it's, it's, it's such a changed car and it's such a more engaging car, it still hasn't given up on its core values. EPA rating for the new Prius is 57 miles per gallon. And unlike a lot of cars, we found that the Prius can generally meet its EPA figures. So, you know, it still does that. It still does what the Prius has always done. All right, Mike Cornby, you've already had your Thanksgiving dream shattered. Now the car of the year is a Prius. How are you going to handle this? Yeah, I'm, I still drive my Toyota Tacoma, but yeah, it looks good. It really does. I presume it's still a hybrid because it's getting 57 miles to the gallon. So um, Still a hybrid, yep. Uh, yeah. The basic model is a hybrid, and they've also got a plug-in version called the Prius Prime. Uh, the plug-in version has uh, a bigger battery, also more power, 220 horsepower total uh, versus wow. 194 horsepower for the standard car. And the cool thing about the Prius Prime is if you plug it in and charge it up, it'll go 45 miles on electricity only, which is more than the average American drives in a day. So, you know, there are buyers out there who they, they want to, they are thinking about an electric car, but they're not sure if they're ready to make that transition. And a plug-in hybrid like the Prius Prime is a great way to kind of dip your toe in that water. And I think people who buy the Prius Prime are going to be surprised at how little gasoline they actually use. We have the picture of the white one, the 24, up on the screen now. That looks a lot different than the one from the movie The Other Guys, where Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg are riding inside of it and on the way to a police response. And Mark Wahlberg says, I literally feel like I'm riding inside of a vagina right now. <laughs> <laughs> Did she just say that I on the radio? I haven't seen the movie, although will do as soon as I get home, I promise you. But yeah, it's like a totally different look. You know, one of the things that, that came up, uh, one of the judges recalled, you know, there's the bumper sticker that says... Uh, Cool Prius said nobody ever, you know, <laughs> and, and that's true. And I think that's probably my favorite thing about the new Prius. Like Toyota's accomplished the impossible; they've actually made a cool Prius. And what's neat is 
it, you know, it's not just a futuristic looking car. It actually is really enjoyable to drive. I mean, the cool. old car was like driving does air. It, does you know? it have any so, self driving features? Um, it, you know, Toyota has adaptive cruise control. They've got a lane centering feature. Uh, we're far away from actual self driving. Like we are, we are way farther away from that than I think a, a lot of certain automakers run by certain people want you to believe. Um, but, you know, the adaptive cruise, which adopts the, you know, adjusts to the speed of the cars in front, and lane centering, which helps steer the car, you know, these things, they really do uh, really help with, with fatigue on long drives. You know, and a lot of people are concerned about giving up control, um, but they really don't do that. I, I find them more a help than, than, a, than a hindrance. What's the cost for a new Prius? Pricing on the new one starts just over $28,500. Uh, the Prime model, which is the plug-in hybrid, it starts just under $34,000. Uh, Prime, with all the bells and whistles, tops out around forty three grand. You know, and I mean, that's not cheap. Cars are just not cheap today. Uh, but considering what the price, especially of SUVs and especially pickup trucks, you know, that's fairly reasonable. And you have to factor in the, the fuel savings from a car that can legitimately get well over 50 miles per gallon. Well, that's a it's a good looking vehicle. I, I'm totally shocked by that uh, the appearance. I'm just you know, seeing you know, always... husbands all over America facing their wives who are saying, "Yes, let's get the Prius," and, and now they've lost their argument. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the car of the year. Oh man! You know, but it looks the truth good. Is we always think, you know, we we this is this factors into our deliberations. There's a lot of arguments, a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of conversation, a lot of it heated. And even though we try to pick the best car, you know, there's always an element of, oh, my gosh, what are people going to think of this? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that was a tough one with the Prius. But all I can say is drive the car. You know, it really is a real advancement for the Prius. We've got specific criteria that, that we look at in our, in our car of the year selection. And the Prius just does what it does really well. It goes over and, uh, it goes over and above what we expect from what should merely be a fuel-efficient family car. So should it got like most improved, or was it really head and shoulders above the other vehicles that were considered? Well, you know, it's it's hard to say because we have to look at each car and its individual merits. You know, our our competitors, uh, our finalists, or rather, this year in Car of the Year included the BMW 7 Series, BMW M2, updated uh, Tesla Model 3, the new entry level version of the Lucid Air, and the Hyundai Ioniq 6. And obviously, you know, you're not going to judge a BMW M2 by the same standards that you would a Toyota Prius. And a lot of people are going to go, well, how could you not pick the M2? But, you know, we have to look at, okay, is the M2 a better sports coupe or is the Prius a better fuel-efficient family car? And, you know, given how much they advanced this car, how they actually made it so appealing to drive, we just we had to give it to the Prius. Hey, Aaron, we're out of time. I appreciate yours, man. Great job as always. Thank you so much for having me on. Really appreciate it. And enjoy your week off. You, I believe, thank you very much. And you have a great day, sir. Take care.